the U.S. Trade and Development Agency recently sponsored a reverse trade mission to the United States for officials from the Kenya Airports Authority. The visit focused on familiarizing the senior officials from KAA with U.S. airport operations and modernization technologies, equipment, and best practices. These goals were accomplished through site visits and meetings with public and private industry experts. The visit also introduced the delegation to U.S. companies and service providers that can help KAA in its airport modernization programs. Uh, the African economy is growing, Kenya is in particular. We are situated right in the heart of Africa. Uh, we've got a booming national airline. We want to do a lot of trade with uh, the United States and the rest of the world. And as Kenya Airports Authority, we are also looking at the fact that aviation is a catalyst to growth. The, the closest and the cheapest and the quickest way to get it between two points in Africa is not by road, it's not by rail, it's by air. And therefore, for us, aviation has been identified as the key catalyst to growth for Africa in the 21st century. Part of the reverse trade mission included visits to airports in Indianapolis, Denver, and Dallas-Fort Worth. At the Colorado Springs Airport and the Denver International Airport, the Kenyan delegation was provided tours of airport terminal operations, facilities, and baggage screening systems and emergency operations. During the tour of the airports, KAA representatives also met with senior officials who shared information on how the airports work with U.S. public and private sector agencies and other airline companies to make improvements to their operations, equipment, and facilities, while ultimately ensuring passengers reach their destinations safely. Airports uh, are thought of as one single entity, but actually they're conglomerate of several private businesses that are linked together in a partnership with usually a publicly owned airport. And from what I understand in Kenya, it's the same type of setup. The uh, group from Kenya today is, uh, has a lot of challenges ahead of them with a brand new project, and we were able to show them some of the projects on our airport that uh, are similar to some of the ones that they're going to undertake. Staff members from USTDA's Sub-Saharan Africa Regional Team have been working to highlight opportunities for U.S. firms to support transportation projects both in Kenya and throughout the region. By creating commercial partnerships between the U.S. and countries in Africa, USTDA continually strives to promote programs that are mutually beneficial to organizations throughout the region. The Kenya Airport's modernization trade mission was part of our larger initiative in the Sub-Saharan Africa region to focus on transportation issues. Uh, this year at the 2012 AGOA Forum, the theme was building the infrastructure for trade, and aviation is a very important component of that. So we've been doing a variety of activities, uh, including this trade mission and other trade missions, feasibility studies, and technical assistance activities to improve the aviation sector in Sub-Saharan Africa. So the overarching goal of all of our programs is to help build commer commercial partnerships between U.S. companies and African project sponsors, uh, both in our transportation sector work as well as the work we do in the energy and IT sectors. We are seeking to identify opportunities in Africa that need some assistance, whether it's a feasibility study or other type of procurement assistance, and match that with the skills and capabilities of our U.S. companies. I'm Lisa Bonnickson reporting, USTDA's Country Manager for West Africa.